at ASER in 2023, I presented an abstract that described the uh, efficacy and safety results of a phase two randomized clinical trial of mRNA-4157, which is a neoantigen RNA vaccine with pembrolizumab compared to patients with pembrolizumab alone in those who had resected high-risk melanoma who had stage 3C, 3D, and 4 melanoma resected rendered free of disease within 13 weeks of their surgery. The mRNA neoantigen vaccine is a single strand of RNA that is encapsulated within nanoparticles to protect it. It is created by sequencing of both the tumor and the normal tissue to define the so-called non-synonymous variants, meaning genetic changes or mutations in the tumor, not in the normal tissue, up to 34 sequences that constitute peptides of 8, 9, 10 amino acids, which would be up to 30 nucleotides, would be concatenated together based on the folding and the size of the RNA molecule. You could fit up to 34 neoantigen sequences into one molecule, and then it's packaged. And on average, it took about six to seven weeks to produce for each patient, and each patient has a unique and personalized mRNA vaccine. This was a randomized open-label trial. This was a phase two trial. In the study, there were 157 patients randomized two to one. And in this study, the patients uh, found that the regimen was fairly well tolerated, although there was an increase in the side effects related to being vaccinated, which is similar to side effects of say a COVID vaccine, although perhaps a bit exaggerated. But otherwise, in general, the serious adverse events and the grade three, four immune related adverse events were quite similar between the arms. The efficacy showed that there was clearly a difference in recurrence free survival between the arms. The RFS curves broke apart at about eight or nine months. And at 18 months, the difference in recurrence free survival was 78% for the combination arm versus 62% for the single agent Pembro arm, 62% is just about what you would expect for that type of patient with resected 3C, 3D, and 4 disease based on either Keynote 054 or Checkmate 238. So that's an impressive 16 percentage point absolute difference in recurrence-free survival. And the hazard ratio all along the curve over time showed that the hazard ratio was 0.56, reflecting a 44% reduction in the risk of recurrence over time with about two years of follow-up in either arm. The interpretation is that this was an impressive signal of benefit with respect to recurrence-free survival for the vaccine plus pembrolizumab combination compared to the control arm of pembrolizumab alone. This was the first randomized study of a neoantigen vaccine approach that's been done, certainly the first in cancer and the first in melanoma. And these encouraging data will certainly provoke a large randomized thousand patient study of vaccine Pembro versus Pembro alone in patients with resected high-risk melanoma that will start in summer of 2023.